Yo, what's up, what's up, mga kanerdi, Nerdy Nation, welcome back to the channel. And so, to, in this video, we're gonna talk about the PUBG Mobile Korean Japanese version of the game, uh, which you can download easily uh, from the Play Store and as well as uh, sideload it from uh, a third party app site. Yeah, so there we have it. So, right now, we're gonna talk about the PUBG Mobile Japanese Korean version. There, I said it again. So, anyway, this is the PUBG Mobile Korean Japanese version. So as you can see, it's still the same with the global version with all the uh, texts on their languages, both Japanese and as well as Korean. So uh, right now, you're probably going to ask me, why would you want to download uh, the KRJP version when we already have the global version? So I'm going to answer your question later on. But at first, please subscribe to my channel and as well as uh, Follow and share this video and as well as my page on Nerdy Heaven on Facebook so that you will not miss on the contents like this. So anyway, now I'm going to answer your question. Why would you want to download the KRJP version? Well, because it's better. Yeah, there, I said it. It's better. Why? First of all, uh, it has less frame drops. Yep, there, I said it. I've been playing with this version for a while now. It's been, I think, almost a year and a half. Yeah, I'm playing with this version for a while and I can say definitely that uh, the, the, the frame drops here are less than the global version and also uh, the drop rates from the crates are also very very high compared to the global version so right now I'm gonna let you see all the crates that are available here and how you will get uh, most of the stuff for free and as you can see here on my inventory most of this stuff I got for free as you can see there so I have one is this mythical yeah this is no it's legendary i think this is mythical and, and this one is legendary so most of these items i got here are free as you can see here i haven't spent i spent maybe around uh, 400 uc i guess but most of these items i got it for free so compared to the pubg mobile version of the global one i'm not sure you can get many items like this if you spend the same amount with what you spent here so anyway these are the crates that are uh, available on this version do you see this this is called donkatsu so this is one of the uh, ma money in game that you can also use to get free items and free crates so you can either use UC or the donkatsu medal if you'll open one of the crates and you will uh, go down a little bit see there are no silver fragments you also have the uh, additional voice packs here which you cannot use on the global version and here the exchange coin see uh, if if you will not get the silver fragments or the items that you want you can just exchange the uh, the exchange coins here with a lot of legendary items which you will get by the way for free it is definitely better than the global version you cannot see uh, the silver fragments here anywhere so even even this uh, event, the mysterious starfish event, you can also get permanent items here. You can see that? Yeah, here. You can see that. So all in all, I think uh, PUBG Mobile Korean version is better than the global version. So first of all, you cannot join clans made in the global version. So therefore, if you want to join a clan, uh, you will only be able to join the Korean as well as the Japanese clans which are created as well inside uh, this version so the account that you have on the global version will not be the same with uh, this version here so if you uh, example if you uh, registered with your Facebook account on the global version you cannot use this, that same account to register on this uh, Japanese version here so you will need another type of account for you to be able to join here so basically those are the only disadvantages if you want to join uh, this version of PUBG Mobile so basically right now I'm gonna show it to you how you can install this version of PUBG Mobile only on Android because I don't have iOS and if you want to help me out you can just comment down below on how to download uh, the iOS version of this game so let's go So as you can see here, we're on the home screen of my phone and now I'm going to show it to you how to install the game. 
So I'm gonna show to you two different methods for you to install the game and I'm gonna show it to you one by one the each steps that you need to take for you to be able to download it. So the first method that I'm gonna show to you uh, is the one that uses ZArchiver Pro as well as the website, the APK Pure website. So right now I'm gonna go to Opera, uh, any kind of uh, browser that you have, you can use it. And let's go to APK Pure. Just click the first one, the first website that pops out, and then you can just uh, press here and look for PUBG Mobile Korean. There. So this is the uh, icon for the PUBG Mobile Korea because this one is the global one. So press this and then you will need to download this one. Download XAPK. It, that's 1.9 gig, gigabytes and just wait for it to download. So I already downloaded this but uh, for you, you need to wait for it to finish. And once you're finished with that, uh, you can just close this one and now you can go to ZRCaver Pro. Now with ZI Carver Pro, I'm going to show to you how to manually down install it. So as you can see here, here, here it is, the PUBG Mobile 0 0.19. So just open it. There you go. Just open the, the, the zip file. You don't need to change the name or anything. Just open it on ZI Carver Pro. Even if not the Pro one, you can also use the ZI Carver free one. So just go to this folder, Android, OBB. And as you can see here, this is our OBB file. You will need to transfer this first before installing the APK. So just long press it, copy, and then go back here and go to Android and OBB on your internal storage and just copy paste it here. So I already have this here, so I'm not gonna paste it again. So after pasting that, you will need to go back to the to the downloaded file that you downloaded earlier this one and just install the APK okay. Sir, do you want to install an update to this existing application just install it I already installed that so after installing that uh, you can open the game so quick side note for this you need to uh, put the OBB file first before installing at the APK because if you do the other the other way around you will not be able to open the APK it will say that you didn't purchase the game and you don't have the license to uh, download uh, the necessary files so better uh, put first the OBB file before installing the APK so there we have it that's our first method and now for the second method so this second method is a little bit easier but I don't want to download another application for me to be able to download an application inside that application so <laughs> but for the purpose of this video I'm gonna show it to you nonetheless so just download tap tap I'm gonna link it down below here you go just open your application tap tap and then look for PUBG Mobile Korea there for the first one you will see that there's a uh, a mark here that said KR so that's the version that you need to install just open it just wait for it to install and after that uh, just wait for the application to run itself it will automatically install the game and once you've done uh, downloading it it will automatically install the game and you can just open it just like that so there we have it uh, on how to install PUBG Mobile Korean version on Android so there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully I can see you again. This is Nerdy Mac Heaven. As always, stay nerdy everyone.